What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over a brand new day trading platform that might be really good for beginners. Check it out. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this video here. What I have behind me here well, I guess when I point on the camera, you see my fish tank. It's a little reef tank back there. Uh, I've shown in a couple videos. If you guys want me to do that again, I definitely will. Let me know in the comments section. But what I have here behind me on the screen is the Webull Active Trader Platform. That's what it is. It is the Active Trader Platform. Last week or earlier this month, I showed you guys a the, their web platform or their cloud platform, if you will, where I actually showed you a live trade as well on it. The, the web platform was surprisingly uh, effective, fast, and, and, and easy to understand. Uh, but since then, I have come to the understanding that we have a, a platform we can actually download, and you can download it on Mac, you can download it on Linux, and you can download it on Windows. So it's pretty good, I mean, it's versatile. I could, I mean, look, uh, Charles Schwab is only uh, downloadable on on Windows. When I use my Mac, I have to use their cloud version. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to leave them for Webull like full time as far as my full time day trading account goes. Um, that's not going to happen at least not anytime soon because I have no real complaints about them. However, I wanted to see what this was all about and do a little review for you guys, show you some of the customizations that are available within it. And uh, that's what we're going to do here. Now, remember, this is a Windows computer. I've downloaded the Webull uh, software to it. It's the Webull 4.0. And uh, we're going to go over that. If you're interested, link in the description section. You have the Webull link. You download the app. You fund your account with 100 bucks. You're going to get two free stocks currently as well as free level two. Uh, for a few months here so definitely take advantage of that at the time of this video so make sure you take advantage of that it's in the description section so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get rid of myself from the screen so you can see the entire screen for yourself and uh, we'll go ahead and well guys now that i am done and i am no longer visible there you can see the whole screen this is the Webull app uh well the Webull downloadable um active trader account and uh, there's a number of things here that you can do. You have down here like the settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to customize a brand new layout. So let's start from scratch. Uh, when I do that, I like to start off with like an example. So we're going to pick here. You have the normal, you have a blank layout or you have the day traders. I'm going to go ahead and click the day trader one. Okay, we're going to start with that. The first thing I'm going to do is because I like to have the dark theme on my day trading layouts. You know, that is what I'm gonna pick, the dark theme. You have here, it's the uh, check for updates with the 4.3. So now we have the dark theme on here. We're gonna go ahead and come back to the actual uh, software itself. Now, as you can see here, the software itself has numerous little tabs here. This is the watch list where you can create your own watch lists. You can uh, also have like specific, you know, stocks that you're just gonna watch. Like if you're just gonna want have one, uh, you know, screen up right here, boom. So let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller here, just so that yeah, there we go. We can fit everything in here. There we go, perfect. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with fire. So in order on to unlock all this, I'm gonna have to log in. So we're gonna go ahead and type Apple. Go to Apple. And there you go. So if you want to place an order, here you have your order entry box. Like let me tell you right now, right out of the gates, just picking this one right here, this this little tab, has basically everything I would need in order to day trade. Uh, I mean, I might have to add or adjust some of these tools here, the indicators, but as far as everything else goes, you have, this is pretty cool here. So we're gonna, you have the trade here where you can put the amount of shares you want to buy, whether limit, market stop, stop limit, trading stops, you want to set your limit prices right there. If you want to hit a market order, it's just going to be very simple. If you want to leave it on limit, then boom. Uh, you know, so everything here is pretty much uh, standard. So you see here, I have only a buying power of $2,200 uh, in this account right now. And that's just because I've transferred some money over uh, to take advantage of some of these free, um, 
free incentives they have. When you deposit X amount of money, you're going to get X amount of free stocks. They do this periodically by invite. And right now I'm waiting for uh, $25,000 to be set in there because I'm going to actually get 25 free stocks valued between eight to, um, what is it, eight to $1,200 or $1,600. So those are 25 free stocks. That's a lot of free money right there. Uh, just for download, just for you know, funding the account with a with that amount of money. In this case, uh, it's a, it's it's an account I've had for some time, so I just take advantage of that and I'll down you know take some money out of savings, put it in there, and boom, some free money. Uh, but like I was saying, you you'll have your orders here. Like if you have a working order out on a limit, and I'll show you the filled orders. Uh, this is VVPR, the trade I did the other day uh, earlier this month, where I made uh, just about two hundred bucks. I was using the web portal. Uh, if you want to use the active portion, uh, it's kind of cool because it's it's like uh, not not hotkeys but hot buttons. You have here buy a hundred Apple at market or buy a hundred Apple on the ask. That's pretty cool. Uh, buy a hundred Apple at market, you know, or sell. I'm sorry, sell at market or sell at the bid. So I like that a lot. Uh, let me tell you, you can unclick the order confirmation obviously and uh, that way you don't have to deal with order confirmation since I don't really use this I'll leave it on for now just in case I have a button slip up uh, one of these days uh, but that's so far it you know as far as the um, the platform itself regarding a standalone uh, stock option here you haven't really like adjusted anything here if you want to trade some 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 options you can see the options chain that's excellent news for the stock financials uh, here you have some you know some of the analyst settings and stuff that's pretty cool uh, order flow if you're you know liking to look at the order flow so that's pretty cool now if we want to get customized we're going to click here to customize and that is simple all we got to do is come here and we're going to remove this widget remove this one remove we're going to remove all these widgets and then we're going to custom, you know, customize our own, basically our own setup. All right. So we're going to just get rid of all of this, get rid of it all. And now I'm going to show you how we do this from scratch. So now we're going to come over here to this little uh, tab right here. Where is it? Here we go. And see, you can't really see it for some reason. I guess we're going to have to go. There we go. Should be able to see it now. There you go. This little briefcase looking thing, add widget. We click that. It's going to give us widgets that we can add. In this case, these widgets are going to be our tools. We got a chart. We definitely need a chart if we're going to day trade. Okay. So we'll, let's start off with that. We have our chart. And now we're going to want to make it the size that we're comfortable with. In my case, I like to make my charts as big as possible. So now we have this chart set up right here. And I'm going to want to add some tools to it. So I'm going to get rid of that one that was right there. Uh, see if we can customize that one. Yes, we can. So this is your MA moving average. The reality is that I would prefer an exponential moving average. Let's see if we can get that on here somehow. Yes, we can. So we'll get rid of that and we'll click EMA right there. We'll go ahead and change the color on it here. We'll click done. Now we have our EMA there. We want to add VWAP. So there you go. You got your VWAP. And, you know, you can customize it as you see fit. Volume's already on there. So we have that. There's a bunch of other stuff on here like RSI. I don't really use that intraday. Uh, you know, you already have volume there, so there's no need to click volume again. Um, here's the EMA once again. You can take it off anytime you want just by clicking that. So that's pretty interesting. You have ways of doing drawings. You know, you can do some some lines if needed boom so there you know they have all the same tools anybody else would potentially have now what they do have here which i found very uh interesting is fibonacci retracement levels so you know not very many uh of these like type of brokerages have that so here you have your fib levels that you can draw out and uh, that's pretty neat as well so if you want to remove these, then uh, you could just delete all, delete all your drawings, boom, all the drawings are gone. So now that we have our chart set up, we can move on to the next uh, part of laying out one's, uh, you know, system here. 
right? So what we, what do we want next? Well, we probably no don't want that. I thought it would have been like the level two. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. How do we get rid of that? So we go. So we remove widgets. Go back to add widgets, and we can go to time and sales. Let's get that time and sales on there. Now we can get our time and sales and. We can move it around wherever we see fit, make it as big or small as we want. Okay. And the next thing would be to add ourselves, let's see here. Here you have your level one. Okay. You can boom, put that up there. We can add more widgets. We can add a little news uh, profiler here. Boom. That way we, we know what's happening and here you have your you know your order book your level two boom you can adjust this of course so preferably in my case what I would normally do is something like this we'll move all this out of here and then I would put my level two up here with my time and sales right next to it, bang. And then I could probably keep something like this. I mean, I really don't need this. You know, in my case, I would never use this and really like have to put it there. If I wanted to keep the, uh, the news, I would put it somewhere there. And then I would look to add more widgets. In this case, I would look to see if they have available the um, here we go so of course I would want to see my open orders and positions so position I would put it right here and I wouldn't need this to be huge because I'm never entering a ton of positions at once a little smaller then I would look for something to enter my actual orders you know so what we're gonna do here is an order entry box <coughs> Let's take a look at some of these. Oh, there we go. So this is way better. This is more along the lines of what I like to use. So we'd have to obviously make some adjustments here. I'd have to probably make the screen a little bit bigger just so that I could fit everything how I like to have it. And now I have my time and sales with my, I'm sorry, my time and sales with my level two and over here on the side, I have my order entries. I have my position box right here. You know, and this is just a rough, like, estimate of what you can do here. There's a whole lot of uh, adaptations you can do here and make it bigger, make it smaller, add more widgets. So, so far, it seems like everything works just like every single other uh, broker you would have used before. With the exception of this is new and it seems very, very user friendly and it has a paper trading account that you can use. So you click here, paper trading. You can switch on over to your paper trading account and do the same thing, adjust it and make it work for you, right? So that you can get used to it. So like if you're brand new to trading, this would be what I would suggest. You get this software, download it, uh, open up an account and then just paper trade, paper trade, paper trade, paper trade. And once, once you are fully uh, able to switch over to your live cash account because you've proven that you are profitable, then you can just continue using the same system. So it's not a bad little software in the least bit. And so far, seems like it's pretty good. Well, guys, my initial thoughts on the software itself is that it has pretty much every single tool you would need and more for day trading. Uh, I'm very impressed in the fact that you have that awesome little paper trading account there that you can use. So if like you're brand new to trading, you just go to Webull, like the link in the description there, you download the app. So you open up an account via that way. And then you just go to your computer and you can actually download the platform to your computer and start learning to trade with the paper trading software that they have. And uh, once you're ready, you just basically transition over to your live account. Remember, when you download the app, you fund your account with 100 bucks, you're going to get some freebies, like free stocks. Uh, as of today, it's uh, two free stocks valued between eight to $1,600 each. So that's not, that's not a bad deal if you got a real big one. And if you got a small one, well, you got lunch money. But any of, anyways, you, know, you, you have everything set there. And it's so, so, so easy to use and so many tools that you can actually customize 
um, I'd say it's definitely worth a shot for a brand new day trader or somebody looking to try to uh, try out a new software because they're tired of the lags on something like E-Trade or such. So, you know, let me know what questions you have in the comment section or if you've been using this, please let me know how it's been for you, how it's been working out. Drop those comments in the comment section below. Hope you're having a great day. Excellent start to the week and I hope to catch you on the next one.